You see them all the time in Dallas, people flying by on those scooters. Well, now there's a new medical report on just how dangerous they can be. Electric scooters now behind a rash of emergency room visits. Here's ABC's Marcy Gonzalez. Tonight, doctors warning about extreme injuries caused by those trendy motorized scooters growing in popularity across the country. They don't understand the speed and the potential danger with that speed. A new study published this week tallying electric scooter injuries from two California emergency rooms, finding 249 people hurt in one year alone. 91% were riders, not pedestrians, and most injured riders, 95%, were not wearing a helmet. Anybody who gets on a scooter going 15 miles an hour should definitely wear a helmet to protect their brain. Kelly Mitchum on her first electric scooter ride in Dallas sent flying over the handlebars and landing face first. When you hit the cement at 17 miles an hour, it hurts. Pat Brogan riding a scooter downhill in San Diego when she says the brakes wouldn't work. Her crash leaving her cut and bruised, sending her to the hospital for surgery on her broken hand. But I thought I was going to die. Multiple cities across the country now banning electric scooters, some just temporarily as they study whether regulation is needed. And some people frustrated by them littering the streets and causing hazards for pedestrians, sending a message, setting them on fire and burying them in sand. Now, one company, Bird, tells ABC News that injuries are reported at only a fraction of a percent of all rides. Before writing, experts do say that you should carefully read that corporate agreement you agree to. Click on acknowledging the risks. A new lease on life.